So I am convinced that for less than 50 bucks, this is as good of an audio experience that you can currently get. Just skip all of the budget gaming headphones and all of the cheap gaming earbuds. Nothing comes close to these when we're talking about price to performance. And so if I had to summarize these in a nutshell, I would say that they sound like a $150-ish version of my Sennheiser IE300s. They have that very similar V-shaped bassy sound signature if we're being really broad about things. But you can find these for as little as $45. And I mean, at that price, they are just an absolute steal. Now, before we get too ahead of ourselves, these are the KZ ZS10 Pros, a budget-friendly, premium-sounding IEM, and my first experience with the Chi-Fi headphone market. Now, I don't review too many audio products on this channel, so forgive me if you're after something super in-depth. This is not gonna be that. But this is definitely one of those products that I test out for a couple of weeks, and I just have to make a video about it because it's so good. As some of you might know from a few of my recent videos or streams, I've actually completely switched my headphones over to IEMs. I find them way more comfortable compared to over-the-ear headphones, and I do prefer that more direct and impactful audio experience that you get from IEMs as well. And compared to the over-the-ear open-back headphones that I was using previously, you know, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on soundstage and imaging and stuff like that, and I am really enjoying not having that clamping force down in my head for eight plus hours a day. I think that's one of the main benefits of switching to IEMs in my opinion. So, you know, before we even get to talking about the details on these, if you're someone who has been wanting to try IEMs for gaming and just general use, this is like the perfect entry point in my opinion. So the unboxing and inclusions, they're nothing special, no carrying case or cleaning tool like you'll find on much more expensive pairs, but they do at least include a few different size tips. I found the default pre-installed tips to be the best fit for me, and overall it left me with a pretty comfortable experience. For a bit of reference, I would consider the Sennheiser IE 300s to be a 10 out of 10 in terms of comfort, and these I would consider about a 7, very similar feeling to the Moondrop Arias. And you can probably tell that the IE300s are more comfortable just by looking at them. They're a lot smaller, a lot slimmer, a little bit lighter as well, and so they sit inside your ear a lot more snug. But having said that, I have no problem wearing the Arias or the ZS10s uh, all day without a problem, they just do feel a little bit bulkier initially. Now one note on them not plugging into your ears as much as you might expect from other IEMs, the byproduct of that is that you won't have as good sound isolation and you still will be able to hear some of your surroundings. Now, if you're playing online games and talking over voice chat, I still would recommend mixing your audio to about 50-50 between the game audio and your own voice. That way you can hear your voice a bit clearer and you don't get that blocked kind of ear effect. It is less of a problem here with the ZS10 Pros since the seal inside your ear isn't as aggressive and they don't sit as deep into your ear canal, but still something worth mentioning for IEMs in general if you're used to over-the-ear headphones. Now, just aesthetically speaking, I think we can agree that these look really good for a sub $50 IEM. Everything looks and feels nicely crafted, the stainless steel plate on the back gives them a really premium finish, and the shell comes in a few different colors as well. The two-pin cable is okay, personally not a huge fan of these tightly braided cables, but I do know that they are pretty popular in the audiophile space, and otherwise I haven't had a problem with them. But now let's get to the best part by far about the ZS10 Pros, and that is of course the sound. Now, at under $50, you probably have some expectations of what these sound like, before you even plug them in. You probably expect them to sound a little bit recessed, maybe the tuning is off, and maybe just generally sounding a little bit weak. And honestly, if we were talking about budget gaming headsets or over-the-ear headphones, then your expectations wouldn't be far off. The HyperX Cloud 2s, for example, which are around $60 to $80 and have almost 50,000 five-star reviews, they do leave a lot to be desired. They do sound cheap, and that's what you expect for the price. The ZS10 Pros, on the other hand, will completely blow you away in comparison. Whether you're just talking about music or in-game audio, it all sounds very full and very powerful. There's nothing that sounds like it's missing or sounding weak. The sound signature here is a bit on the bassier end, uh, but overall still reasonably balanced. It's not as bassy or deep as my IE300s, and it's not as pure or technical as the Moondrop Arias. The only crowd that I feel will be disappointed here are those hunting for a more detailed listening experience. Whether you're after more texture and detail, or a more present vocal experience, this is not that. If on the other hand, you're kind of more of an everyday music enjoyer and you prefer a more fun audio tuning, and you also want something that sounds nice and full when it comes to gaming, then it is really impossible to be disappointed by the ZS10 Pros. When it comes to gaming, you get that full depth of audio, which you just don't get from cheap gaming headphones or cheap gaming headsets, and also soundstage
footage is also pretty impressive coming from an IEM. I'll also note that nothing sounds too fatiguing or overbearing. I mean, if you're playing online shooters, for example, and there's constant grenades and gunshots going off, you can listen to these IEMs, you know, at a reasonable volume for hours and hours on end without any fatigue or discomfort at all. And then when it comes to, you know, placing footsteps, audio cues, stuff like that, apart from that mostly being, you know, game engine dependent, you're going to have no problem here with the ZS10 Pros. Everything sounds like it's very present and very natural. Now versus the Moondrop Arias, which you can get for around $80 on a good day, I would say the ZS10 Pros and the Arias deliver a similar quality audio experience. I would go for the Arias if you want something a bit more neutral and technical sounding, but the ZS10 Pros if you prefer a bit more punch and bass, and of course if you're on a tighter budget. I wouldn't recommend one over the other at this point since they're just different, but the ZS10 Pros definitely win when it comes to overall value. So yeah, just wanted to make a quick video on these because I've been testing them out for the past couple of weeks and I've been just seriously impressed with the amount of value that you're getting here. And I guess, you know, speaking to more of a general community here who are more focused on PCs and gaming and kind of less audiophile gear, my hope with this video is that you guys will, you know, consider picking these up as opposed to really cheap budget gaming headphones or cheap gaming headsets from the name brands. As I said, this is my kind of first experience with the Chinese hi-fi market. And again, the experience here is just in a completely different league. So link will be down in the description if you do want to try them out. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.